Hi guys, welcome to another episode on the brunch series. Today we are going to the Park Inn by Radisson Hotel at the Yas Island. The Amerigos is a Mexican bar and restaurant that is pretty Instagrammable and features authentic Mexican dishes and served in a vibrant atmosphere. Amerigos offers indoor dining and you also have the opportunity to enjoy your meal on the poolside terrace overlooking the beautiful Yas Lynx golf course and Arabian Gulf. This brunch is renowned through the capital as a particularly lively brunch with a family-friendly focus. Following COVID protocol, a full buffet of Tex-Mex staples laid down in cardboard cutouts resembling food stalls. It's colorful and a vibrant visual treat. It takes on a feeling of an Asian um, street food market for some reason. And although the food selection is relatively small, Amerigo's has all the bases covered. So unsure of what passes as starters and mains, we start off with a selection of soft shell tacos with chicken, there's nachos and guacamole. And here we have the barbacoa tacos, which are tender and tasty, piled with guacamole and some spicy salsa. I mean, who knew Mexican food could be this spicy? There's also that selection of lamb steaks, roasted leg of lamb, chicken, you name it, you got it. So with this brunch comes a free flow of beer, wine and cocktails that includes margaritas, mojitos and sangria. They have their uh, made-to-order ceviche station. And the brunch is incredibly lively with Spanish pop music. Yes, you will hear this patio on more than one occasion. The concept of a Mexican-inspired fiesta is certainly appealing for those who is in search of an outdoor brunch. And the prepaid nature of this brunch is usually indicative of a situation that's likely to get out of control, but the venue is just trying to make the revenue. So there are burritos missing from the equation, but diners can find solace in different types of paella and perilla grill serving up freshly grilled shrimp, beef ribs, lamb t-bone, and chicken adobo. The paella was particularly my favorite, as well as the soft shell tacos. There's not much of a selection for kids, so they were happy with nachos, some grilled corn, sweet potato fries, and which is a family favorite. The desserts are the strongest point of any brunch for me and they had a good selection of Mexican desserts like churros, some three leches, fresh fruits and a variety of ice creams. The kids go for the ice creams and I think the flavors that they had were chocolate, uh, caramel, coconut and mango but this keeps changing every week. The highlight on the dessert for me were the churros, crisp and hot, covered in cinnamon sugar, dipped in chocolate. After the sweets, we go back for another plate of the sweet potato fries because it was that good. The kids were entertained with a piñata that's stuffed with candies and they had fun trying to grab as much as they can. Now that's a dessert plate that we had and I don't know the names of most of the desserts, especially the one that's next to the churros, which was amazing, that biscuit there. If anyone knows the name of that particular dessert, please let me know. So the brunch is winding down and we are at the last order of sangria. Throughout the week, they have a number of promotions at this restaurant, such as tapas nights, steak nights, or the Amerigo's business lunch, and there is a daily happy hour. 
And prior to the COVID, I believe the brunch had an access to the pool as well. Coming to the prices, the soft bevs package starts at 199 dirhams. The house bev package is as 299 dirhams and you are able to use the entertainer here for the soft bev package and upgrade if required. There is a small play area that's next to the brunch which is amazing for the kids. So all in all, uh, nothing fancy about this brunch but what you will get is comforting Moorish Mexican food served in a family-friendly setting and coming at a good value price and sometimes that's all you need. I hope you like this video guys. Please like, subscribe and share for more videos. Thank you.